show. You are starting a show? I think so. With your kids? I might just do it on YouTube. But I'm going to have a shirt score and everything. Word. It's called Mom for Newer. <laughs> Mom for Newer? Mom for Newer. Like, I'm just Oh, Newer, like got it, got so, it. I mean, but you. Is. <laughs> you gotta you gotta start it, you know, somewhere. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> Yeah. Um I'm starting to feel real tired feeling. Uh, <laughs> um Who do we have here today? Mecca Medina of the Legend Brand, aka Boss Lady, BKA the Beard Old Lady. Word, so <clears throat> I'm not a good freestyle. Um, and I am. That's, uh, I am. I'm probably the, the world's greatest. Sure. Don't touch <laughs> any buttons or anything. No, no, no. Go with your sister. Be careful. Watch your fingers. See, and that's another thing. I be way too high. I mean, but that might be good. Like, looking back on a lot of things, because my daddy used to stay high. Like, looking like that nigga really did used to smoke weed all the time. Get over here. And I get it. Like, because my, my pops with us. He was like a tolerable father. So, I get it. Like, I understand. So, I would need to be high yeah. to have kids. But, man, that, I got a feeling that beef truck is going to come. I While we sitting here. I will run. Look, look, look. Oh, shoot. Man. Fast. If that beef truck <laughs> do something over there by them kids. I'm glad we. I'm just glad. I'm just glad we recording because I'm gonna laugh so hard. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't never. I ain't never been caught on tape laughing like that. So, everything brought to you by Plenty High Edibles. Get you a slice of the sweet potato pie. Ten dollars a slice. Fifty dollars for a whole pie. Holla at me. And that's at Plenty High Edibles on Instagram. Some good pie too. Right. Don't have kids. Nah. Never. Um, if only you knew, uh, you know, some of the links and whatever that I've gone through. You can't, man. I, you know, no, not me. <laughs> and that's, and I honestly, like, I kind of, like, sometimes I think about, it, like, will I still be able to? Because, like, that'd be fitting for all the times I've taken care of shit. And then the one time I want it, I probably can't have no kids, so. That'd be sick. That would, I would, I would. That'll hurt. Well, I mean, shit, it'd be life, so, you know, I have to eat it. But, um, so, yeah. Eat <laughs> right. Right, right, right. Right, so, of course, um, RIP to everybody that's been victims to any police brutality, any of this wild shit that's going on, anybody that lost anybody to the Rona, you know, RIP. <laughs> Lots of everything, but those are the only two things niggas can die from. You can either die from the Rona. You can either die from the Rona or a gunshot wound. And if if Rona could shoot guns, then everything would be Rona. So that's my thoughts on that. But so how you feeling during all of this? Everything you know? Have you been on the up and up? Are you dealing with it? Okay. Understandable. So, I mean, but they your Virgo and Pisces, so. I think that makes it worse. Ah, so. see, and that's why, man, look, because I knock a kid out, <laughs> and I can't be punching my own kid, so, you know. His self-defense, I think you should be able to. And self-defense is just sit, you know, sit your behind down. And, oh, you just hit me? <laughs> yeah, that too. That too. Cause yeah, been baby strong as hell. Like they. Uh, Why are babies so strong? Cause they don't know what they doing. I guess I don't know. <laughs> but um, That's so. Legend. The funniest thing about this is, this is part two, kind of. The first one went kind of like this, but <laughs> had a different outcome. So, what? Is it bad? What? I mean, we ain't get we ain't get to put it out, but. <laughs> But, uh, so, since then, because back then it was Gaia's Gifts, right? It was. <laughs> and what was all involved with that? Some of everything, which is why it's the legend right now. Gaia's Gifts was like scrubs, oils, lip stuff, candles, some of it, literally everything. Will you, be getting, will you be getting back to that? I'm thinking about it. But, yeah. 
but yeah, I did like a small business management course online. Learned about branding and stuff. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'm about to use this. Word. Rebranded, changed the look, the name, the products. It's all men's products now. Everything is for women, so why not? Well, I mean, the thing, like, I would think that, I mean, with the beard stuff, you know, but I would feel like everything would be more so for women. Cause I, I feel like that's more so the market. Like, women is buying, like, you know, skincare, I should say, you know, skin and hair care. Like, all the women, that's like I'm the thing now. I'm about to get into that, too. So, so there you have it. So, so back then it was guys' gifts. We had more so, like, the soaps and stuff, and now we got the, the Legend brand. Um... What all, what all is involved with the legend brand? As you can see, not only am I a client, <laughs> I am a super client. I don't know. <laughs> I am Torrance as well. But yeah, this is, uh, and, and as my own testimony, I don't know if, uh, well, I'm going to just say, yeah, it was all because of this. Because, you know, I started to take care of my beard, like trim it and comb it. And I noticed, like, I would pick some off sometimes. Like, the ends would be, be like two little pieces. So I guess that's split ends. ends. Yeah. I don't have that anymore. So, you know. All yeah. Right. So, yeah, we got the beard oil, the lip balm. I'm the lip balm works. I, I keep that I keep that in my smoke box. I'm mad I keep losing it. But it's good that I can make it cuz it's like, oh, I lost my chest. I stopped using it because it was like it had to it was like prickly. And I didn't understand Those. that at first. I was like, man, I'm not using this no more. <laughs> but I used it one time because I was like, out, out. And that was, it was in my smoke box. I was like, man, I need it. And I put it on. And I was like, you know, you rub your lips together. Yeah. And I seen, I was like, oh, shit, that's what that's for. So. It's like to exfoliate. Yeah, but it's to those, work. the ones that did like that, because I had the lip scrub to exfoliate and then the chapstick. But that, I had bought a kit from this site to me chapstick that was basically supposed to do that and the ingredient was like stevia or something mm -hmm. so i'm like it was vegan still but yeah i didn't like that one Word. i'd rather do my scrub then put it on so yeah i don't know it worked for me but um <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so is that it is that all you got is just the, the beer stuff and then the lip balm well, I'm about to do the beard shampoo, conditioner, shaving Did you figure cream it out? After. No, that, was that you I was talking about? You, you were trying to figure out the, the formula. You didn't know I about that. I think so. You know what? I, what found, you, I found a vendor. I meant to tell you because I had bought a bottle of the Dr. Bonner, mm -hmm. that Castile soap. You could have used that for your face. I might That's go who, ahead then. I, I kept thinking, who the hell was that I was talking to about trying to figure out shampoo? When I bought it and I figured it out that that's what it is. Because I use the Shea Moisture, whatever they got. Right, um, they got some good stuff. They do. They do. Um, They're they, not black owned though. Um, They were, wasn't they? Or they yeah. were, and it's black they created. Sold. I mean, but whatever. I don't, it don't got to necessarily be black owned for me. <laughs> um, I mean, it don't gotta be. I use a lot of black on shit, but if I have to use shea moisture or not, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. I like, I like they soap. I like they shea, they shea butter soap. So this is how, yeah. you know, you get this nice, beautiful bald head here. <laughs> Even though I don't like it, but you know. Oh, then the aftershave is gonna be. You know how people shave and they get the razor bumps. Mm -hmm. It's gonna like cancel all that. Out. And what do you put in it to cancel? What? Don't tell me if it's a secret. I can't tell my ingredients anymore because... Somebody, okay, because people yeah. out here? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like, I used to tell people, like, oh, I use this, this, and that. Now everybody's like, oh, I make my own now. Hmm. Now... I'm not trying to lose any more customers. Now, with that, <laughs> do you, you know, because like you said, you took a small business course, so I'm certain that they, um, they, put, you, they put you in on... Uh, I'm, the acronym is SWAT. It's like Strength with Weaknesses... A and threats. I can't. What is the A? I can't I remember I what the hell the A was. Phone. But do you feel that, like, because you're right, when you started it, it wasn't, I mean, it was like a lot of people, but it wasn't like a lot of people around here doing it. Exactly. And then now, I mean, but that's, that's going to come with it. But do you feel that that makes it harder for you? Do you like the competition? Do you think of it as a competition at all anyway? I wouldn't say I think of it as competition because my stuff is different. My stuff works. <laughs> I, right. got, I have proof. So I'm not competing with anybody. But plus there's a, 
I don't know everybody around here, so I can't sell to everybody. Yeah. These people might know somebody I don't know. So, money for everybody. Yeah. But yeah. it seems like it is kind of harder. In Pontiac, yeah, yeah. I could see that. But, but I mean, the... a lot of my customers are in Atlanta, Chicago, and Florida. Is it is it the same in Atlanta? Like, is it as many people doing necessarily beer oil, or is it just like the hair, like you know, the, the, just the black owned business type deal down there? There are people doing beard oils. I actually, so at one point, I was going. I made a list of barber shops in my area, and I was just going to them trying to sell. And one of them was like, "Oh, I make my own beard oil." He made the entire like he would go to Michael's. And the wood boxes they have, mm. he designed it, polished it, stained it however he wanted, and he made whole beard kits. I did not know that you could buy wood boxes from Michaels. Yeah. Um, Michaels, yeah. Joanne's hobby. She's about to turn all the way up. I need to. <laughs> and uh, shout out to Rachel of the Metro Gray Podcast. She works at a craft shop, so I need to hit Joanne. that up. I tell you, my street ain't never this fucking busy. <laughs> Oh, somebody recording on the porch. Let's right. go drive by. That's that I got proof. My street, you you know, well, I don't know if you, you don't be over here like that, but my street is quiet. See, more people, yeah. just more niggas turning down my street. What? I'm sorry, pull my jank out. Scare everybody <laughs> away. No, it's kids. I forgot. Never mind. Not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to do that at all. But, so, um... All right, so you said you ran into my man. Yeah, he, he made his own boxes and his own oil. Yeah, so it wasn't like a lot of people that did it in my area. I was, what, 45 minutes from Atlanta? Okay. I was going to plan to go downtown Atlanta, get some customers. But I came here to visit. Still here. <laughs> mm. Okay. Months later. So is the plan to go back to Atlanta? I want to get a house and maybe get a house here. Okay, so my 30th birthday is next year. Happy early 30th. <laughs> Thank you. But for my birthday... You don't look like you're about to be a day over 13. Exactly. So, Everybody's like, are you driving? Yeah, I mean, you just saw me driving. The very first time you came over here to... I don't remember if you, you didn't come with that. You think you just came to drop off the beard oil. They were probably I, I in thought the car. I thought your mom no, it might have been, but I thought you weren't. I thought that, like your mama was in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. thought it was like 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 literally like what the hell? I was like, oh okay, that's cool. And I knew your sister, but like I I knew I knew I thought I knew you, but it wasn't you. <laughs> it wasn't you. It <laughs> or I, like I was like yeah, because we was at work one day. I was like yeah, I know her sister. I know Mecca. Hey yeah. kid, <laughs> it was not you. I'm so sorry, but I mean, I. It was like you and then somebody else. Like the thought of you was you, but then like the something else was everybody else. But whatever. So, <laughs> um. So. It's hard to. It was hard in Georgia too, because like I would be talking to the barbers. And they only buy, like, they bought a bottle, but it was just so they could, like, talk to me. So now, they never bought any more because it's like, okay, that's not what I'm looking for. Now, with that, now I guess it's good that you didn't, but have you thought about it at least? Like, thought of using that to your advantage? I thought about it. Because I for sure but, would. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I just had to think of my approach. I know. If I sold ten additional dinners when I sold barbecue that time, I know I know I know some of those were just you know, yeah. hey Torrance buys and that's perfectly fine. Hey back, <laughs> but no, I understand. I mean, you kind of gotta cause you know. Then I was like dating somebody, and you know on social media I flirt with people because. Because that's like sales. what you do, and that's it's just the internet, like <laughs> exactly. And I that was my point, but I had to block them, so yeah. Mm. Well, yeah. I don't know, <laughs> but um, so I do get you the, think I'm too friendly? Complaint so. all the time, all the time. I mean, but you know, 
Yeah, so was business better here or in Atlanta, you think? Uh, okay, so it was good in Atlanta because it was uh, picking up slow, but it was picking up. Okay. But here, I have, like, the people I need to, like, if I want to do a commercial, I can do it. I didn't have that there. Got you, got you, got you. If I want shirts and stuff, everybody's here. That makes sense. That makes sense. So here, I have a team in Georgia. It was just me. Okay. Do you think that you use different... Do you think you use a different strategy here than you did down there? My only strategy is to post as much as I can. Like, there, I wasn't doing that. Oh, okay, so I also bought, there's, I can't remember the girl's name, but she does, like, she sells Instagram audits, like a guy. So, I got that. And it's like, it said that you should post at least 10 times on your Instagram story. And like a certain amount on your actual timeline. So I'm trying to do that. It's not going good. <laughs> okay. I mean, but see like with stuff like that, like when they, if they were to tell you stuff and it don't work, how do you feel about that? Like nigga, cause I don't think, I don't think there is no trick to me. I mean, it is a, like, it's just a, however it just happened to find somebody eyes. Yeah. But mostly overall, most of that shit is, you know, they generate who gets seen. That's why they can control the algorithm. You can see stuff just from three days ago. They showing you exactly what they want you to see. Um, right. Joe Button them on their podcast, Joe likes to use this quote. He says, um, walls enriched with interest can never be objective, I think the word is. <laughs> I always confuse them. As the memes say, that be whooping my ass. But, um, yeah, so that's exactly how I feel. I feel like whoever is behind, whoever paying Facebook enough ad money, they gonna put they anything in that picture that's theirs. They gonna put it out front. So if it's whoever has the interest, oh whoever has the control and interest of that bathing suit, I'm gonna see that bathing suit. Whoever got the control and interest of that car, I'm gonna see that car. And that's all. That, that's what I'm forced to see is whatever they want, whatever ad basically that they want me to see, and that's through the people that's wearing it. Yeah. So, but, with that, how do you feel, like, is it a way, like, ideally, where would you want, ideally, what could, what, what, what would be the, what would be the way that you would get, you would get the numbers that you want? Facebook ads didn't what? work. You know what really works for me? Actually talking to people, like socializing. Oh. Come back down here, please. You wanna go with me? You wanna be quiet? You wanna go to shore? Go, to shore? go with your oh. sister. Go play. Uh, I don't uh. <laughs> I have no time to bring. He don't even know the camera rolling. Mm -hmm. You can. I mean, I have been like off of the, Like, I feel that's weird anyway. Like, if you just like, yeah, you know, right. I like to do this. <laughs> and I be eating nachos. Like, that's weird. Like, that's, you know what I'm saying? But somebody was trying to call themselves trying to read me. And it was like, you can't even look in the camera because blah, blah, blah. I'm like, bitch, like, what? <laughs> like why do I need to like that's weird like I, right? I just just stare into the camera so so whenever I do like throughout anything on any 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 camera that you see me on because like if I'm talking I might just do like a weird like look into the camera because that's why I hope no, she watching <laughs> no because I really I hope she watching and I hope that she know it whenever she see me doing it like yeah that shit is weird because like who just who that's cares funny. you don't even look in the camera you don't look me in the eyes bitch shut up she gonna text you one day like, okay, you're right. <laughs> nah, she ain't never do that because some people can't have never met their people are right. So, what are you figuring? Like, what like what thing? What are you seeing is getting the most attention? I guess. Face to face socializing. Okay. Like that legit gets me customers. Like, and then okay, with the so, Rona, that kind of got. Yeah, knocked out. <laughs> so everything is it's like going, but it's going so slow. I just. Michigan's about to close back down at 11 tonight. Like, that's ridiculous. But anyway. I don't, I honestly don't know, man, because, like. Like, okay, so face-to-face -face socializing, passing out my business cards, 
Okay. Actually gets me customers. Like I have bad anxiety. So like in Georgia, my brother's barber. He's like, all right, come by, talk to me, show me your product. I got there thinking it was gonna be a slow day. Everybody I don't know was in why. It was packed. I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> but did you get? Did you sell any that day? I sold a bottle, and I was supposed to talk to him. I guess his wife owns a beauty supply store down the street from his shop. Mm, so what happened? So I'm still working you? on that. Okay. okay. Everything started getting shut down. So. Right. So is that ideally with this? Is that what you would want? Would you want it just in the beauty supply stores? You want to see it in Walmart, CVS, like, or do you want it to be to where? Never Walmart. I hate. Walmart. Why do you hate Walmart? I sued Walmart. You sued Walmart? Yes. See? Bye bye. UPS has never pulled up a honk the horn. Ever. <laughs> See? This is hilarious. I told you. I just be glad other people be here to see it. <laughs> Alright, UPS lady. Well yeah, um yeah, so ideally is that is that what you would want? You would want it to be like in Beauty Supply Store? Would you want to own your own Beauty Supply Store? So I want to own a barber shop. I want to learn how to cut hair, do all that. But I want it to be like a family type. You know how people are like, don't bring your kids. I want you to be able to come get a haircut. You can get your nails done. Bring your girlfriend, get her hair done. The kids can play. Y'all leave. That makes sense. I, I'm surprised we haven't seen more like salon or maybe I'm just because I'm not in the salon so but we haven't seen very many <laughs> we haven't heard of at least the salons or barbershops with like little play areas for kids right you would think that that would be you know one but you know if I were to own a barbershop it's gonna be like a barbershop it's gonna be like the barbershop I grew up in like where kids really don't got no place so you said you want to own your own barbershop and have everything in one so Trump said that the next STEMI is supposed to be really, you know, supposed to be on par with everybody else's, right? Like around the world. Mm -hmm. So let's just say in some world, old Trump give us 10K. What would you do with your 10K? Okay. Take those barber classes. But I heard I can like study under somebody so I don't have to actually go to school. Because I tried to find one. That was when I was in Georgia. Mm -hmm. But I would do that, get my training, stock up my supply, and buy some these places and turn it into a shop. Mm -hmm. Um, that makes sense. With my 10K. If I can find a spot for however much. With my 10K, I'm buying a quarter piece and we own baby no i'm just kidding um, <laughs> i was gonna say a piece of what quarter piece of a quarter brick nigga no <laughs> um but no i'm just joking guys um, you hey, what up what up what up no your pet gopher here we're gonna have problems uh oh <laughs> well, he, he coming up there now yeah. oh he just let's notice this oh, he ate it good. That's two days. Hi, it fell over? No, he ate it. The gopher is lives underneath your thing there. So he just... He just jumped up here and had himself a full-on snack attack. Wow. <laughs> oh, I did not know them beef chucks did that. Them, that's fucking crazy, dog. He better get a it's trap or something. Trap something. And Mr. Paul used to do it. Mm -hmm. I wish y'all could see what the hell this beef chuck ate. <laughs> but, um, where do we leave off at? Come on. I don't even know. About the 10K. Well, you said, we oh, said yeah. what the, well, is that all that you would do with your 10K? I don't know if I would have any left after that. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll go ahead and uh, wrap it up with this. Like we always do here on the porch. What are your top five styles of potatoes? <laughs> Baked potato, no sour cream because I hate it. Fries, 
What kind of food? Wedges. I love the wedges. I <laughs> ate wedges. And what is the other one? Steak or something? Steak fries. I like that kind. But they got to be crispy. But I hate fucking wedges. I See, hate I like wedges. my fries soft. Soft and salty. Like, you know, you go to McDonald's and you get the fries. I only like the soft yeah. I see why you probably hate Virgos because Virgos is normal as hell. You like soft, mushy fries. Yeah, I'm Yuck. not normal. But yeah, so that's three. You get the so wait, you get the baked potato, no sour cream, the, a fucking uh, potato wedge, <laughs> and then a mushy steak fry, fries. mushy steak <laughs> fry. Ooh, red skin potatoes. Does that count as another one? Yeah, is like how how baked potato. or mashed? You know how they slice them quarters. Season them. Yeah, just so like some like some rotisserie potatoes or roasted potatoes, yeah. I guess. Okay. Then I don't know if I would choose hash browns. So what are you choosing out of it? Between hash browns and what? Either hash browns or mashed potatoes. I love homemade mashed potatoes. Oh my goodness. Mashed potatoes. Chunks in it. I'm taking mashed potatoes over that. Mashed potatoes is on my list. Mashed potatoes is one of my favorite foods of all time. I know, because I like breakfast potatoes too. Yeah. I mean, but you gotta choose one. I just want to know. I just want to. I love mashed potatoes as long as it's homemade. Okay, gotcha. Shout out to all the local Pontiac businesses. Uh, there is the Yacht Gods, the Birds Network. Welcome to my next. Is it a network or podcast? It's like everything, man. Uh, it was. It was going to be like network, and then we went to go do the site. We couldn't get WTMNnetwork.com. So one of them was like, you know, it was like WTMNnetwork.world and all this other stuff. But it was I like WTMNworld.com. And we all, it, that was one of the, I think it might have been down to like three. And that was one of them, and that's what we chose. On. So it was some people that didn't. It was some people that didn't like it though. They was, you know, I don't know what they thought, but. <laughs> I feel like world works because it's like world. It's a lot of stuff, in the world, so you could do whatever with that. I just did it because it was there, so. So I'm reading this book. Hello, my name is Awesome. Mm -hmm. It's about naming businesses and stuff. So. Word, because that is important. <laughs> Any more shout outs? Yeah, uh, Tay Weatherspoon on Facebook with quality detailing. He detailed my truck for me. Did a good job, so shout out to him for that. Saved and unbothered for my crop tops that I got in an extra small, finally. Uh, Vita of the Divine 26 for my Women Hustle Harder Crop. And the Legend Brand. Mel's Hippie Smells. All the local businesses I forgot to name. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to Pontiac. Yeah. All right. So, where can they find you at, Mecca? Uh, the Legend Brand on Facebook and Twitter. Well, Twitter and Instagram, The Legend Brand with the underscore after Whoa. it. Mecca Medina on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. McLovin on Snapchat. Follow me. Subscribe. Where, YouTube videos coming soon. Where can they order The Legend Brand? Um, products. You didn't even say all the stuff that you had. I, I gave you like seven times. Y'all got do rags. You got yeah, like bonnets. You got everything. Rags, the satin do rags. I have the beer kits that come with the comb, the brush, the grooming scissors. You can get it with the oil. You can get the whole kit once I restock because I'll have shampoo, conditioner, shaving cream, aftershave, the lip balm, the kits, all that stuff. So yeah. TheLegendBrand.com T-H-E-L-E-G-E-N-D B-R-N-D.com Word. <laughs> Word. So, thank you guys for checking us out. Peace out. Yep, there we have it. Oh, shit. My fucking leg was killing me.